Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. I wanted to take a look at my 6AU6 uh, Pentode amp that I built. I think it's kind of a Princeton type thing. And I've had it actually, I've been playing at a church live for about a year now, and I just leave it there. And I use it as a clean platform. It's a workhorse. It's been an excellent amp. And the main thing that I want to do is give it a little tune-up. So specifically, there's some stuff with the tone stack that maybe isn't functioning the way that I would love it to. So I want to do a little before and after comparison. Uh, this is going to be the before. So let's get a little tone sample and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about with the way the EQ, EQ is working. So that's sweeping the treble control. I think as you can hear, there's a ton of movement between about 10 and 8. And then if I go from about 8 down to 0, there really isn't a lot of movement. And it gets darker, but maybe not as dark as I was even expecting. So I was just sweeping the bass control there. Again, same story, just not as much control as I would hope. Now, I've also got this mid control, and if my memory serves me, the mid control is like 250K, which is massive. Typically, you see mid controls between 10K and 25K. So the idea there was actually, as you add an obscene amount of resistance, it actually defeats the mid control and it becomes a tone stack bypass. So I think that's maybe part of what's happening. Uh, is I maybe probably need to mess around with that mid range value. So if I turn the mid range down to low, let's sweep the bass and treble again. So I think you can hear there that with the mid-range control all the way down, you really have the tone control to start working a lot better. So um, I think I'm going to probably go back to a more normal mid-range control and just take a look at my other values to make sure that they're working properly as well. So. So I think the primary thing I'm going to probably do is um, go back to a more normal mid-range value. I, I do think it's cool to give you the tone stack bypass, but I'm just not getting as much gradient. I, it basically, I think as you turn the mid-range up, it's almost like a mix control instead of a mid-range control where you're fading out the tone stack and just increasing the raw pass-through signal. So I prefer having the tone stack there, so I'm going to reduce that mid-range control to something a little bit more reasonable, and we'll take a look at that. Thanks.
Um, hopefully you guys can see this. I've got my discharge tool here and I've read voltages with my multimeter so I know the amp is safe to work on. This is my mid-range pot right here. Uh, the, there, this green wire here is connected to the base control and then this black wire goes to ground. So there's three connections on this mid-range pot. This one comes from the base control. This middle one uh, goes to the capacitor, which is the mid-range control capacitor. And then this one over here is going over to ground. We're just going to replace this pot. I'm going to start with a fixed resistor. I could also do just a lower valued uh, potentiometer, but I think I would prefer to do it this way with a fixed resistor just to see how that sounds. Um, it'll just kind of keep the amp very simple, plug and play, straightforward to use. Um, and so I think I'm probably going to go with something between 8 and 12K as a fixed resistor and go from there.
Thank <laughs> you.